So let me say a few words about uh, Sub-Saharan Africa, and then I will ask uh, Daniel to come in on Nigeria and, uh, and South Africa more specifically. So, so it's very clearly, the region is suffering from a, a strong funding squeeze that we already discussed. I mean, some of the some of the countries that are facing uh, uh, very elevated spreads. A lot of them are are, are in the region. Uh, a lot of the uh, challenges come from external factors. The very the surge in energy prices and food prices as a consequence of. Uh, uh, the Russian invasion of Ukraine and the uh, tension on energy markets uh, is affecting is affecting the region. So we have uh, we have a slowing growth for the region overall to about 3.6% in 2023 from 3.9%. Uh, last year. We also have uh, a situation where inflation is, is elevated. It's double-digit inflation expected to come down uh, from 16%, uh, roughly 16% to about 12.3%, but still still double-digit double inflation. And, and of course, uh, uh, a very important challenge for the region is uh, uh, as a result of these uh, elevated food prices, we have a, a large number of people who are in situations of food insecurities. We estimate about uh, something like 130 million people in situation of food insecurity. Thank you. Uh